Hey gang, I just installed Ubuntu Mate version 15.04 a couple of days ago, and I'm really liking it. It's in a dual boot configuration on my main PC. It's on a one terabyte Western Digital spinning hard drive, and uh, it's working pretty good so far. What I want to do now is I want to install the printer driver, and I have a Brother MFC J870 DW printer. And Brother has kindly provided some Linux drivers, which I've downloaded and I will provide a link to. Uh, Ashley, you just should go to the Brother website if you don't have a J870DW. They have drivers for Fedora and they have drivers for uh, Debian or uh, Ubuntu distributions or Debian. So I have the Debian installer. I, I have it unzipped and you can use this procedure here I will give you the the link to this page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly install it and I'll show you how to put in the machine name which is for me the hardest part it took a little bit of effort on my part to figure it out so uh, I do these things so you don't have to so let's go ahead and uh, try this out so control alt T to get a term and I'm going to I'm going to CD not LS into my download folder. Just to make sure I'm still in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this command out. Don't make yourself crazy. So copy it out. I mean you could type it if you want to, but makes more sense and paste it in there and you need root access so you're going to do sudo at the beginning and then go ahead and put in 2.0.0 dash 1 or whatever the script is that you install and then delete that and then my machine is MFC J870 DW and the reason why this took me a while was because I thought maybe you had to put a dot between the last character in the command and the printer name I also thought that they it was case sensitive I also thought you needed a dash. It's not case sensitive, you don't need a dash, you just put in the name of your printer or the model number of your printer. Then you hit enter. It's going to ask for your password. And now it's going to say you are going to install following packages. And these are the packages that you want. So you say yes. And this is a license agreement, so if you want to install, you better say yes. And it goes ahead and downloads it. And then this is another one. You say yes. We'll just let it download. And it's taking a bit of a minute because this is a slower per, uh, computer than my Asus computer, actually. Now it's asking, will you specify the device URI? Yes or no? If you say no, it, I believe it assumes that you're doing USB. In fact, on the instructions, it says right here, for USB users, choose no. So if you are directly connected with a USB cable, don't choose yes <laughs> sorry so go ahead and say yes if you're on a network now the important thing is the easiest way is to know the IP address of your printer so I know mine so I'm gonna say yes all 
All right, and then there's several choices. There's LPD, there's HTTPS, there's Secure Socket, there's IPPS, there's HTTP, there's IPP14, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we want 13 to specify an IP address. And the IP address for my printer is 192.168.0.22. And now it's going to ask for test print. So let's do that. And now my printer is printing out. So Let's show you that while I get through these other license agreements. And that should do it. And we're all installed. The test page spit out with the Ubuntu logo on it. And uh, that should do it for this. Hopefully you buy a Brother printer. They are kind enough to provide Linux drivers in the first place. I believe Canon has Linux drivers, but they're a little bit more difficult to install. I also believe this will scan. So maybe in the next video we'll look for a compatible scanner driver. Okay, so that should do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you get something out of it. If you want to, please like. Uh, subscribe if you want. If you have any comments, leave them below. And as always, have a pleasant day, everybody. Thanks for watching.